Yo guys, welcome back to another video. Today I will be showing you in Subnautica how to get into the Aurora. In today's video, uh, what you will need to get into the Aurora is uh, these tools I have here. The repair tool and the fire extinguisher. Um, you will also need the prop propulsion cannon and uh, the laser cutter. Sorry, I forgot that for a second. Um, um, also, what's optional is you can have um, a survival knife, but you don't need it necessarily. And um, you will need, definitely though, a scanner, as you will be scanning lots of things in there. Um, right now, on top of the uh, on top of the life pod, you will be heading exactly this way, which is two clicks to the left of east on your compass, and. Yeah, let's just jump into it oh, as we take more damage. Um, Welcome aboard, Captain. You can not get there just swimming, or you can get there in your Seamoth, or whatever you're using to get there. Um, it is optional um, to use the... Uh, I will recommend, sorry, not optional, I will recommend using the Seamoth as it has the perimeter defense system as where we are going. If I look up for a second, just basically, you can diff easily avoid it, but there will be a Reaper Lower Ithan where we are going. Um, if I can possibly even. Um, no, I can't see it on my radar, not now. Um, but I have the defense system, which is that uh, icon uh, to the second to the right. Um, second from the right, sorry. Um, so yeah, as we just keep going two clicks to the left, as you can see, there is a lifeboat. But I don't want to talk about that lifeboat as it could potentially spoil some Nordica and for you guys, but I'm just simply showing you this how to and how to get into it. So if you keep following two clicks to the left, um, if I do do my radar, as you can see, that's the Reaper there. Um, as you can see, you can definitely avoid him if you just stay to the surface, basically. As you can see, it's all the way down there. Um, easily avoided. You just go through this mini crack, or this, not mini crack, it's actually a very big crack, in the broken part of the aurora, and if you just park your seamoth, or just swim up to this here, um, you can just leave your seamoth there, and it will be fine. The seamoth, uh, the aurora will be shaking because it's like moving in the sand so that's why your screen will be shaking um there is these creatures here which is the optional part where you can bring your knife and kill them because they are annoying um or you could just use your propulsion cannon and just fling them off which is what i did when i got here um there are heaps of crates along here so sorry, sorry you just get out of your uh seamoth and walk up here and use Turn to the right and walk up this hill, um, trying to avoid all these creatures. Get all the stuff from the crates. Um, I have already been here, obviously. That's why all the crates are open. Um, you just want to be avoiding all the fire. And if you just keep going up and following the path, to the left, you see this floodlight here. To the left of that floodlight, there will be... Um, and just basically, if you just look straight to this fire, slightly to the right, there will be this sort of like bridge that was just connecting uh, two parts of the broken aurora and if you oh, as just watch out for fire obviously I'm being dumb um, if you do figure out a fire extinguisher though there will be one somewhere around here I think it's like here or over there which is this one I just picked it up before um, uh, if you do forget one there will be one here um, and then all of this should be like on fire, so you just need to use a fire extinguisher to get rid of most of the fire. Um, and then yeah, this is how you get in. Um, here there will be a uh, propulsion cannon fragment. So if you have not got one yet, which you will need, you can come here, get this fragment, and then go back and craft it, then come back. But there's that. Uh, to the right, that's administration. You will need your fire extinguisher as well to 
obviously get rid of that fire. I'm not going to show in there, um, as I don't want to spoil anything. I just simply want to show you how to get here. Uh, there won't be a PDA, I think, as well here. Um, and then if you look down to the left, there will be this whole passage right here will be uh, covered in um, these cargo boxes, which is where you will need the propulsion cannon to um, grab the boxes and just move them out of the way, so then you can get enough space for you to walk down here and yes um, that's how you uh, get into the aura basically huh? and then through there you will need the repair tool and the laser cutter the laser cutter to laser cut some doors and um, get into ways get into rooms and stuff that you will not need um, you definitely need the scanner you need to scan some fragments and stuff which is, there are quite a lot of fragments in here and you will need the repair tool to repair the drive room oh i forgot um you will definitely need a radiation suit i think you would have realized if you came here and you would have paused my video and realized hold on you forgot a radiation suit so sorry about that but you will need the radiation suit to get here so you can fix the radiation which is in the drive room and this is where you will need this repair tool and actually you probably will need the survival knife because in that room there are lots of um I don't know what they're called they're like leeches um and then they like stick to your arm and then they like suck your blood but yes um basically that's it um I hope this helped you guys and um yeah so if it did I hope you guys uh, be sure to like the video and subscribe that would as they tell me to, I'm almost dying um so yeah thank you so much for watching um and yeah I'll see you all in the next video see ya